Hello dear students, I am Rajinish Tiyagi, welcome to each and every one and yeah, as you all know that nowadays we are going for the online classes and uh, I hope that you all are good at your home but similarly uh, today once again we will discuss about the chapter the retrop seller uh, what is going to be continue with him what he is looking for and what will what will be the further incidents in the story be ready for that have a great day let's start the story So let's the story begin and uh, as I told you day before yesterday, yesterday and last three or four days uh, the condition and circumstances of the protagonist, uh, what he is looking for right now and uh, finally he uh, went in the iron bill and uh, was a stranger for that person and was looking for a night to make himself warm. Let's the story begin now, what he is doing there. The tramp did not say anything either. He had not come there to talk but only to warm himself and sleep. Because of that thing, uh, the protagonist was not able to have the resources for himself to survive properly. That's why he was looking for uh, a shelter at the night. And uh, he went to this place only just because of that. He wanted to sleep and uh, wanted to make himself warm. Because I told you, uh, this is the time of the December and at this point, he was not having so many resources, so many things to protect himself. That's why he went to that side. In those days, the Ramzo Iron Mill was owned by a very prominent iron master. It was a story of this mill also that uh, it had a very great time. Uh, people used to talk about this mill, this iron, this iron mill. But nowadays, it's not working so very well. Uh, then the iron master who is the owner right now of this iron mill, what is about him? Whose greatest ambition was to ship out good iron to make market. And the present owner of this iron master, or of this iron mill, uh, he wanted to create, he wanted to have a greatest business among the people in the society. And he wanted to sell the biggest amount of the iron in the market. It was a good thinking of being a good owner of, of the factory. He was both night and day to see that the work was done as well as possible and he was a laborious person. He was not a person like where uh, is thinking about the destiny, is thinking about the luck or fortune like that. No, he was a person who was dedicated to his work for all the day, for all the night and uh, that's why he expected from his hard working that one day definitely will be becoming a great successful businessman and a great person in the field of uh, the business. That was the purpose and that was the motto and that was the kind of the dedication of that person. And did to see that the work was done as well as possible. And at this very moment he came into the forge one, one had night's rounds of the inspection. Naturally the first thing he saw was the tall Regamuffin who had eased his way to close the furnace that steam rose from the wet rags. Initially, uh, that the iron master thought that the person who had uh, come this time uh, was a labor, was a person, was a part of the, was a part of this factory, but he was not. Uh, means both the people were confused because they were not having any conversation with each other. That's why they were confused, but trying to guess something. The Iron Master did not follow the example of the blacksmith, blacksmith who had hardly denied to look at the stranger. He walked closer to him, looked him over very carefully, then tore off his slouch and to get a better view of his face. Then finally the Iron Master, he came to know <clears throat> that he must have realized, he must have recognized the person who had uh, going to have a visit in that place. So that's why he decided to meet with him and uh, also wanted to know the identity of that person who's, visit, who's visiting right now here and there and uh, uh, he's unknown to each and everyone and um, not having any identity there. That's why the Iron Master he decided that he should definitely make a conversation with him and also try to know that who's a person is wandering right now here and there. He walked close up to him, looked him over very carefully. He went to close that person and was looking 
very carefully from up to down down to up uh, you can understand whenever we have the first uh, time a stranger in our society uh, we used to uh, pay our attention to them and uh, we look uh, strictly oh, someone has someone is a new face for us like in the classroom a student get the admission so everybody in the classroom try to pay their attention to that particular new student he walked close home, look and over very carefully, then tore off his slouching to get, yes. But of course, it is you, Nels, all of he said, how you do look. The man with the red, red traps had never before seen the Iron Master Remzo. It was also the first time for the red trap seller. He had never seen before the Iron Master out of that place. It was the first time for him also where he was going to meet with him. Not even know what his name was. Even they didn't know the name of each other. Retro seller, he didn't know. He, he did not know the name of that person. And the art master also did not know the name of that retro seller. Both the people, both the strange, both were the stranger for each other and were not having any identity. But it was the time where they were going to have a conversation with each other. He was an old acquaintance, uh, he might perhaps throw him a couple of kroner, therefore he did not want to uh, receive him all at once. Firstly, the Iron Master thought I should definitely throw two kroners to him, he used to look like a beggar, not looking so good and a handsome person. So he was thinking I should throw the two kroners for him, uh, maybe, perhaps he has come to this place to uh, beg something. Yes, God knows things have gone downfill with me, he said. <laughs> but the red trip seller said, God knows about me, the things and the destiny was not good with me. Uh, it was the part of the unauspiciousness. It, it was not the part of auspicious things for me. I was the unfortunate person <laughs> according to that red trip seller. He was expressing like that. You should not have recognized, or you should not have resigned from the regiment, said the Iron Master. Iron Master thought he was a part of the regiment, that, and he was telling to him, you should not have resigned from the regiment, you should have continued your job there. That was the mistake. He said, it was, your, it was a blunder mistake of your life that you have resigned from that regiment. If only I had still been the service at the time it never would have happened if i could have uh, joined the place of the regiment in, instead of you so i did not supposed to go for this decisions just like you have given the decision to that regiment because it was the biggest mistake for you for your life that time you should not go for you should not have gone for this kind of the decision in your life like that according to the right iron master well now of course you will come home with me but you do not worry now retrip seller uh, that was the words of uh, the iron master he said you do not supposed to be worried now just come with me and get the entry with me in my house and uh, you don't worry please to go along with up the manor house and be received by the owner like an old regimental comrade that how did not please the tramp they were behaving with each other like uh, just like they were the great comrade for each other great comrade means uh, a person who helps you uh, in your bed time uh, who helps you in your um, in that time where you need someone to protect yourself so it was the time for the red trip seller because he was wandering here and there and was also remorsing himself because he didn't get any idea any place to protect himself and uh, he was the person for him uh, who was going to protect him after that stranger because before that he did